so they so they they they, they want me to ask you about it's Beyonce like, and it's like Jay-Z. windy and dusty. Oh shit. They want me to ask you about Beyonce and Jay-Z. What about them? The fact that Beyonce was sold to him. That was the deal that her father made. So she never had no say in it. She was the family business. Did Michael Jackson have a say in anything that happened at Motown? No, he didn't. He had to do it for the family, though, didn't he? So that means she really, she really can't even divorce him. She's just stuck. No, she can divorce him legally, but they got much deeper ties. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Well, it is interesting that Beyonce was sold because you did say her daddy was a pimp. He just got snaked. That's all. He got saved. No, he got snaked. Snaked. Okay. Yeah. Jay Z promised him a much bigger part of the pie. Much bigger. Then he turned daughter against father and told daughter all the terrible things that her father did to mother. Mother had been crying on the shoulder. You should find another shoulder to cry on. Maybe that's why your husband left. You didn't need his shoulder. You had Jay Z's. Wait a minute. Are you saying Tina fucked Jay Z? I'm saying it's all in the family. What? That's why Solange so terrible. Because Solange ain't going for it. She's the real talent. She's the one with real integrity. Wait a and minute. The way she's been treated, it's it's disgusting. But did you see how at Jewel's, uh, you know, he want to be a little porn star releasing these tapes. But did you see him at his fashion show? Salons did not sit with the family. She has been exiled. That's why I'm curious to see if she's actually going to sit with Liz Crokin. Because if she does that. She loves her sister. Mm. Because there's no way she's going to sit with Liz Crokin and tell her the truth about Kathy White. What happened to Kathy White? Someone asked Someone should ask Beyonce. Wow. Somebody should ask, what was the report, the arson report for her childhood home that burned up over the holidays? Oh, wow. Somebody should ask, why were they so interested in going back to visit? Maybe somebody should ask what was in those fucking balls. Wow. So Beyonce is not innocent like she likes to play. She's not innocent. Your daddy was a pimp. Your mama was a hoe. You claim all royal ratchetness from Houston to Orleans. Where was their innocence? Ever. Mm. Never fall for a big butt and a smile or wide hips. (laughs) Did she really give birth to Blue Ivy or is that Solange? No, everybody knows. And ain't nobody seen that surrogate since. Mm. So who's Blue Ivy real mama? Well, I, I believe it was all in vitro. It's Beyonce's egg. Okay, okay. She yeah, I just remember care. back at that time, she had just started learning how to manage her weight. She was a solid 16 when she was at the end of uh, Destiny's Child. The meal plan that she's on is only 1,200 calories a day still. Damn. And with all of that exercise that she does, that's why she's usually treated for exhaustion and dehydration two or three times a year. You got to ask yourself, what kind of fucking woman keeps an IV in her bedroom? (laughs) 
Like, really, you need to put in an IV flush when you go to bed at night? Damn. Killing yourself. And your family is okay with you killing yourself. Just like Michael Jackson was killing himself. So you're telling me she's on drugs, too? Of course she is. To perform four or five hours straight. Y'all don't remember that time she fell She fell down on stage and it looked like she broke her leg and the bitch popped up like the fucking reanimated man. I said, God damn it, they got that damn step foot chip in her. <laughs> allegedly, allegedly. Allegedly. Who the fuck know? He got the neural link and that ain't alleged. That's real. Damn. He got that, that uh God chip. Damn. I think this is wild, yo. But the thing that's tripping me out is that everybody's missing the lineup. Like, people should be interviewing D. Haven right now and asking him to go through the DNA of the way Jay-Z lined him up. Sit down and talk with Dane Dash about the nature of his lineup. Sit down with R. Kelly and ask him about the nature of his fucking lineup. Sit down with somebody from Houston and ask them how the lineup happened with fucking Pimp C. Ask some goddamn questions. So the sex tape with Pimp C and Beyonce was real? Of course it was real. All her tapes is real. How many tapes she got? She got to have at least 40 of them. They buy them out all the time. That's why everybody got to get the non-disclosure. The nigga don't ask. Oh my God. That's how Jake and Edge made their money. As sure as shit wasn't off of music. Oh my God. When they ran that train on them and they had it on tape. They ran the train on Destiny's Child. Yeah. What? That summer when they was all on tour together and then the tour instantly ended and they said it was because Destiny's Child was going out on the road with the Backstreet Boys and they tried to whitewash it all over and Michael Wright did the big, I believe that's his name, Michael Wright, the manager for the Backstreets and the NSYNCs and the Britneys. Look at how their lives turned out, how lovely. Anyway, yeah. you know, so... They put that whole thing together and they tried to make it seem like they ended the nigga tour because of the white tour. Mm. But the truth is they had they needed a good excuse to explain why, you know, the nigga don't ask got signed, a couple million got passed around, tapes got bought. Yeah. That's why. Damn. Yeah. You ain't Did never noticed. Know Jagged Edge don't be in no rush to put out no music. No, they don't. And they can afford to do it all themselves. I guess they had a nice bankroll. Now, some people were saying it was because of Matthew Knowles trying to fuck on them girls. I mean, you liable to do anything. Drunk, high on crack, feeling yourself. You did say he was a crackhead. Number one, you heard with the girl, the, the thug, pastor. Yep. She told you she snorted the powder with him. She told you she done that cocaine. <laughs> Shout out to the thug pass to the Tia, Tia billionaire. Do you think, do you think Jay-Z really fathered Kelly Rowland's first child? With him? Mm -hmm. Anything's possible. He collects women. He lays with men. Jay Z lays with men. Of course he does. You know, I think the oddest thing in the world is looking at videotapes of him having sex with another man and watching him and knowing how. So comfortable. You know who else I was told, and, and she won't. She and like, I'm not her, saying allegedly. I understand. I understand. I will not list the name of my source. 
I, I don't have, listen to my source. I anymore. have seen Sean Carter having sex with another man. You saw someone that. I know. Someone that's very close to me. Well, I know someone that saw a tape of Kanye West fucking Will I Am. You want to know what's sad? Someone said something about my brother Ricky Corrupt from Dog Pound. Mm. And that was the hardest conversation to have. Because I know what they do to us guys. They get them drunk. They keep them drunk. They get them high. They keep them high. They break the stats and the circumstances. You wow. give somebody enough of something. And yeah. see, they're there to videotape it all. Just like that guy caught Justin Bieber on his knees. Literally. That's how it works. And then they take that and, and they use it for ransom. It would explain his disdain if he had been drugged. A third of the men that I know that they they got victimized. They didn't even remember it happened. I was. They saw the tape. Yeah. I, I was also told about a situation where a guy woke up and he could not walk because his ass was just in pain. His, can't tell me that's not demon possession. Yeah. You can't tell me that. What would make you want to take something so beautiful and turn it into something so vile? Human connection, regardless of what your orientation, is a beautiful thing. Yeah. What kind of grown man justifies and saying a young man like Usher to the point where he has to be taken to the hospital. Uh, it's storm show. Hey, it's storm show.